you got to see this. Yesterday we had a heat wave here in Belgium. It was almost 35 degrees, it was sunny, it was hot. And now we have this kind of weather. Look at this, it's gray, it's cloudy, it's been raining for most of the day, it's barely 20 degrees. It's absolutely ridiculous. One moment it's sunny, the other moment it's raining. This is typical Belgian weather and that's probably one of the reasons why we are not so much in Belgium actually. But anyway, we were kind of last minute invited to join a press congress in Amsterdam. And a lot of you have asked us what we pack or to make a video about what we pack when we go on travel. So we thought that this was maybe a perfect opportunity. You know what? I will talk about uh, the clothing part and Nick will tell you all about our technical stuff that we're gonna bring. So when we are traveling in Europe, this is normally the kind of trolley that we're taking because it's light and it's very compact. When we're traveling outside of Europe, we mostly, most of the time we travel with a bigger backpack. It's just easier to carry along and then we also have our hands free. So it's just easier and more convenient. So the Netherlands is very close to Belgium and just like the weather in Belgium, it's unpredictable in the Netherlands too. So we will have to pack or, or we are packing for yeah, two types of weather conditions. First of all, we both need a sweater, of course. I can't show you Nick's sweater because he's wearing it because it's cold right now. Um, but I'm also wearing are gonna bring some trousers, some underpants, of course, and then you've probably seen this in multiple videos of ours, but this is something that I love wearing. It's colorful, but still it's kind of warm. And this is the dress that I'm gonna take with me for when it's gonna be sunny, this is more light. I also, I love this dress. I bought it in uh, Marseille in France. It's made of recycled cotton, so I just, I just love it and I think I look really good in this dress. Anyway, also for Nick, this is Nick's shirt that he's gonna wear when the sun is out and also I think it matches good with the blue and the red for during the press conference. And what else, Nick? What do you have here? Nick has <laughs> some... <coughs> Sorry, some socks. Oh yeah, because I'm doing <coughs> this, of course, this is something very, very important that I'm bringing because like you can hear, my voice is still not 100% back. So this is something that I'm definitely gonna bring with me. So some pair of socks for Nick, underwear, a t-shirt, and because when the sun will be out, Nick will bring his shorts <laughs> who loves short shorts <laughs> okay so what are what do we have here this is my beauty bag do you call it a beauty bag yes i think you call it a beauty bag anyway i'm gonna call it my beauty bag you can call it whatever you want <laughs> yes i know it's my video so take me to the ocean that's why i love it what's in here of course toothbrush some day cream, some night cream, some serums, all of the, all of the products are from Avena. This is not a sponsored video from Avena, but Avena, if you're watching this video, I love the projects. So yes, it would be good if you sponsor me because I spend a lot of money on your products. Anyway, this is also something that I love. This is a roller. I don't know if it helps, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but I just like the feeling of rolling it all over my faces. So that is why I'm bringing it with me. Nick, what do you have in your beauty bag? A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Deodorant, very important. Some contact fluent, because Nick and I were both wearing contacts. Toothpaste, of course. And this is your account for your moustache <laughs> that yeah. you're not using, but it's there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you see it, it's there. So that is it, most of it. 
So we're going uh, for, yeah, we're going away for two days. So that's it. We learned to pack light and I think this video and this presentation of our bag shows that we really can pack light for only two days. All right, let's continue with the tech part of our luggage. We use this backpack basically to put all the tech stuff in. It's a bit of an old backpack, but it works really well. The frontal part is uh, the black hole or the garbage bin, if you want. It has a lot of stuff, for example, playing cards with uh, images of Sweden. We got this from Caroline. And lots of other things, keys, lots of charges, uh, lots of stuff that I probably don't need or that I might need. So we're going to keep this thing closed for now and focus on the more interesting parts. What are we going to bring? First of all, camera. The new GoPro 10, we have this thing since we went to Colombia. And it's actually, it's a really good camera. We've been using this one a lot. It works best in outdoor areas, indoor, it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't work that much, especially in low light. It's not the best camera, but for outdoor and for action, it's great. And we have some additional parts, like we just bought this media mod, which has an additional mic, which works really, really good. And two mounts where we can put other mics or lights or whatever. It's a really good addition to the GoPro. And then we have, of course, the handle to put the GoPro on. We have an extra battery because the battery of the GoPro dies really, really fast. Then, of course, we have the vlogging camera, which is this one so maybe we should switch cameras so this is our vlogging camera it's a sony zv1 it's a really small thing but it's spectacular how clear this image is and how good this camera works and it's so easy to pack it's very light it's very small the only difficulty was that it doesn't have a it only has a fixed lens but we found the solution to that this is the this is the wl1 it's a chinese thing from Yulanzi. But you can basically paste it on top of this lens and you can pull it off and you have a zoom lens and the wide angle lens which makes this camera a lot more functional. And it also has our new tripod which is I'm really really happy with it. It's so good, it's so sturdy, it works very well and you can be, you have this thing to put an angle on, on, the, on the camera, it works really good. With this camera we have extra batteries of course, electricity is always the big problem and charging, we have chargers, this is the charger of the camera, charger of the GoPro is in here, we have a lot of other GoPro stuff, some of this I have no idea what it's used for, but uh, this is a magnet to put a GoPro on, on metal stuff which also works really good. We carry extra discs. Extra, just a few extra discs this is one of the difficulties with making video you always have to you need big discs and you need backup discs because yeah you don't want to use uh, you don't want to lose stuff and then of course we carry the laptop it's a macbook pro it's the m1 it's a new one i'm really happy with this especially for for editing it goes so very fast it's really good stuff so yeah, now we have to put all of this inside the backpack. Alright, we're ready to go to Amsterdam. It's tomorrow. Yeah, I know, but for the video I thought it was more powerful if I put, uh, yeah. put it on now. Yeah, are you gonna sleep with it too? Maybe, Ooh, maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> so now we have an idea what we put in our backpack. Of course, when we travel for months in a row, we take some more stuff, but actually not that much. No. Like the technical stuff is basically more or less the same as what we always travel with. Yeah, it's true. Of course, if we go to faraway countries, we take more clothes and different clothes and maybe hiking shoes and yes, stuff yeah. like that. Yes, yeah, and a sarong. And a sarong. And yes, oh, we yeah. couldn't bring a sarong either. Yeah, no. So tomorrow we are going to Amsterdam. <laughs> so if you don't want to miss it, you know what to do. Subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And we see you mañana. <laughs> Ciao. But first. Ah, oh, yeah, three.
How many days more? <laughs> 22. Okay, good, because I will need them. 